Welcome back to Snippet Coder and we are back with another video and this is the 11th video of our WooCommerce admin series and in this video we will learn how to create a customer list and this is our application and here we are showing that customer list and here we are getting the customer name and first name and last name then we are getting the email id of the customer then we are getting three icons first one is for editing and second one is for delete and the third one is for sending any push notification to the customer and that push notification will be customer specific and here we have the search option and we can also so search the customer here by putting the text here and the text will be the first name and here we can click here so here we are getting the result on the basis of the search and if we remove the search here and if we click here again it will load all the data here and also if we put any anything incorrect here and if we try to search here it will give us the message of no data found. So before starting the video, if you are new to our channel, subscribe to the channel by clicking on the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get notified about our latest videos. Thank you. So first of all we will create a new page here and inside that pages we will create a new folder that is customer and here we will create a new page and the name of the page we are putting a customer underscore list dot dot file and we will make it as a stateful visit customer list and here we will extend it with our base page base page and here also we have base page state and here we will rename it to page UI and we will remove this parameter and we will link this page with our navigation and all and we will go to our home page and here and here after product list we will change it to customer list because here in the title list and menu we have dashboard categories then we have product then we have customer then we have order that's why we are putting a customer list now reload the application to see is it working or not so here if i click on the customer tab now you can see here we are getting that customer tab here so now let's move to our model part so let's Let's create a model file. And now we will go to our model folder and here we will create customer underscore model dot dot file and here we will create the model file class customer model then fields we are required here in type of id that will be a customer id and then we have a string type of email and then we have a string type of first name and then we have a string type of last name and then we have a string type of username then we have a string type of now here we will create that constructor and here we have customer model then here we will add this dot id this dot email this dot first name this dot last name so now here we will do the mapping and all and here we have customer model dot from json and here we have map string dynamic variable name is json then we have to do the mapping here id is equal to json id then we have email json email then we have first name json first underscore name and these value are the api values and the api column name in our woocommerce and here we have last name is equal to json last underscore name then here we will create two json and that will be used for our adding and updating of the customer and here we have map string dynamic to json and here we will create one variable map string dynamic data is equal to new of map string dynamic data id is equal to this dot id then we have data first underscore name is equal to this dot first name then we have data last underscore name is equal to this dot last name then we have data email is equal to this dot email and here we will return data so now we will move to our aps service file and there we will create new function And here we have the services and here we have api underscore service dot dot file and here we will create new function here return type of the function is future list customer model and here we have get customers then we have string str search and that parameter will be used for searching and all and we will make this function as async here then here we will get the request headers map string genuic request headers then we have the content type application json and here we will get all that login detail and all login details is equal to await shared service dot login details from here we will get the login detail for host name and also that consumer key and secret key and here we will create our query string for sending that consumer key and secret key string string query string is equal to and here we have consumer underscore key login details dot key and then we have consumer underscore secret and here we have login detail dot secret and then here we will check if str search is not equal to null then we will append that value in our query string 
and here we will pass search is equal to str search then we will get the url here where url is equal to new of uri dot https and here we have to pass the host name and that we will get from our login details dot host and here we have that our endpoints and the endpoint for this api is slash wp hyphen json slash wc slash v3 slash customers and here after that we will put here query string and here we will call where response is equal to await client dot get request and here we will pass that url then we have to pass our headers here and here we have our request headers and here we will check if response dot status code is equal to 200 then we will return here and for returning here we have to go to our model file and here we will create one small function here and we will put here list customer model customers from json and here we have to pass dynamic str that will be our json coming from our api and here we will return list customer model dot from and here we have to pass str dot map x and here we have to pass our customer model from json and here we have to pass the value of x so what we are doing here we are just looping through that our list customer model and there we are just mapping whatever the inside that list and we are mapping it with our customer model from json and now we will call this customer from json over from here and here we have customer from json and here we have to pass json decode and here we have to pass response dot body in the else condition we have to call here return null so what we are doing here we have created one function here get customer and here we have our optional parameter that is sts search and then we are getting a request headers then we are fetching all our login details in one variable that is login details variable then we are creating here query string and we are putting a consumer key and consumer secret from our shared service then we are checking here if sts search is not of null then we are appending our query string search is equal to sts search then here we have our url and we are passing here ui dot https login detail dot host and here we have the endpoints wp hyphen json slash wc slash v3 slash customer then we are passing here query string and then we are creating the response here by calling here client dot get request and then we are passing here a url and then here we are passing the headers then we are checking here if that response status is 200 that means we have got the data from the server then we are just doing decoding and all and we are fetching all the customer from the response body and we are returning here list of customer model in the else condition we are just calling here return null so now let's move further and, and let's create provider file so now here we will create our provider file and that provider file will be used for our state management and all and here we have customer underscore provider dot dot file and here we will create the class here class customers provider with change notifier and here we will create that object for APS service underscore APS service and then we have list customer model underscore customer list and then we have list customer model and here we will create the cater for this variable get customer list and we are fetching it from this variable and then here we will create our constructor customer provider and here we will create underscore APS service is equal to new of APS service and here we have customer list is equal to null and then here we will create one function for resetting our streams and all basically this function will be used when we are doing any searching and all we will call this function and that function we will reset all that objects and all and here we have void reset stream and here we have api service is equal to new of api service and here we have underscore customer list is equal to null and here we will call notify listener now here we will create fetch customers and here we will provide optional parameter of string type str search and we will make this function as async here and here we will create one variable for customer list and all customer model customers list is equal to and here we will call api await underscore api service dot get customer and here we have to assign this search str search with this variable str search and here we will check if underscore customer list is equal to null that means we have to create the object here because this list is null here and we will call here underscore customer list is equal to new of list customer model dot empty and here we will call growable true 
and here we will check if we are getting any data from here if customer list dot length is more than zero that means we have got some data from the api then we will add this data but before that we have to make this list as a empty here so that if we have any previous data here we will remove that data and here we will call underscore customer list dot add all and we will add all the data from this array into this array and then we are calling here notify listener so what we are doing here we have created one customer provider and there we have created our uh, variables and all then here we have the constructor and there we are just initializing our api service and we are making customer list as a null here then we have the research stream here also we are just initializing the api service and customer list is equal to null because that function will be called when we are doing any searching and all and then we have created one function that is fetch customer and there we are passing our string of STS search then we are just calling here api service dot get customer and here we are passing STS search then we are checking here if the customer list is equal to null that means we have to create new object of that customer list and here we are checking if we have got any data from the customer list this one then that means the data is length is more than zero that means we have got the data from the api then we are just making this customer list as a empty here and then we are assigning all the data from customer list into our this list and then we are calling here notify listener so that ui will know that there is a change in the data and it will show the updated data over there so now let's move further integrate this api service in our ui So now we will modify our customer list page to integrate the api service and all and for that we have to go to our pages folder and there we have customer folder then we have customer list underscore dot file and here we will modify this page and here we will add add the rate overwrite and then we have void end state super dot end state then we have this dot base title and that is coming from our base page and this is the base page and here we have this variable base title and that is used for our app bar title and all and here we have to provide customer list or we can provide here customers then here we will create where category and here we will call where customer provider is equal to provider of customer provider and here we have to pass context and the listen we will make it as a false here and here we will import file name and here we have to go and check the name of that and the name of that file is customers provider and here we will change it to customer provider and now we will import the file here and then we will call here customer provider dot fetch customer and here it will fetch all the customer on the page load and now we will modify this page ui and here we will change it to single child scroll view and then we have the child here and inside the child we are using a column visit then we, we have that main access alignment and we are using a main access alignment dot start then we have cross access alignment and we are using a cross access alignment dot start then we have the children's here inside the children first element we are using here search bar that is that we have covered in our previous videos if we have not watched that video you can watch the video i will put the link in the description and here we have padding visit and then we have to provide some padding here and we are using as insert dot all 10 and then we have the child here and we are using a search bar utils dot search bar and here we have to provide the key name here and the key name we are putting here str search customer and then we have the placeholder and we will put here search customer and then we have to provide that button name for create customer and all and we will put here add customer and then we have the on tap event for the search that we will cover later on and then we have that on tap event for our add button that also we will cover later on so now let's see in the ui is it working or not so here you can see we are getting here search customer and add customer but title is not coming here we have to reload the application for that and here we are getting the error because we have not added our customer provider in our main.dart file and we will go to our main.dart file and here we will copy this code and we will paste here and here we will change it to customers provider and here we will put the page name that is customer list and now we will save it and we will reload the application so now if i click on a customer here so now you can see here that error has been gone and we are not getting any error and here you can see we are getting our search bar area and that button for the add customer also so now let's move to the ui part to indicate the api integration and all and after that we will put the divider here and we will put here divider and the color we are using here primary color theme of context dot primary color and after that we will create our customer list and that wizard we will use here so now let's create two wizards here first one we are putting here visit underscore 
customer row and that will be showing for the customer one all and from here we will return list style and here in that our parameter we are putting a customer model model as a variable name and then we have the title here inside the title we are using a text visit and there we are using two variables first one we are using here model dot first name and the second one we are using here for the last name and then we have our subtitle and we and we are using here for displaying our email id and all and here we have model dot email and then we have the trailing for showing the active button and all and we are using a wrap visit because we have to show the multiple children here and the first one we are using here icon for edit icon icon sort edit and the color we are using a color dot black color in the same way we will copy this and we will paste two time and the second one we are using a delete icon before that we have to give some spacing also and we are using a size box and we are putting a width 5 same we will do after delete icon also in the delete icon color we are putting a red asin then we have our third icon for showing the notifications and all that we will cover later on and here we have to put colors dot orange color so now we will create one more visit to displaying this data from our customer list and all and here we will create visit customer list and here we will return new customer and we are using a customer provider then we have the builder here and we are using a context model and the child here and here we have to change it to consumer not customer and here we will check if model dot customer list is not equal to null that means it is not null and data is still loading that means it is not null that means the data has been loaded so then we will show that visit and all and the else by default we will return here center visit and here we are calling child we are using a circular progress indicator then we will check here return if model dot customer list dot length is more than zero that means we got the data then we will show here list view shrink we are using here true and the physics we are using here scroll physics and then we have the item builder here and here we have to use list view dot separated and here we have item builder and we are using a context and then we have the index here and here we will return underscore customer row model dot customer list and here we will pass the index here for that particular row and then we have our separator builder and we are using a context index and from here we will return new divider and here for the item count we are putting here model dot customer list dot length and in the else condition if there is no data we will show here text visit by putting here no data found so now reload the application to see before that we have to call this customer list from here and here we will reload the application so now if i click on the customer tab so loader is loading here so here we are getting some error so now let's debug the code to see what the issue is so here i have to put the debugger here so the issue is because we have instead of putting a dynamic we have to put a string now let's reload the application to see is it working or not so now if i click on the customer so here you can see we are getting a data so issue has been resolved so now we are getting all the data here you can see here we are getting a first name last name then we are getting an email id then we are getting all the three icons here so now let's move further to the last step of the video that is search customer and all and for doing that we have to go to a customer list or dart file and here in that function that is this is a on search tab and here we are getting that value and then here we will call where customer provider is equal to provider of customer provider then we have context then we have listen false and here we will call customer provider dot reset stream so here the use of that reset stream so what this reset stream is doing if we go there you can see here we are just initializing again that APS service and also we are making this customer list as a null that means whenever we click on our customer that search button it will make this customer list as a null then here in our customer list visit it will start showing our loader because here we have added a condition if that model dot customer list not of null then only it will go inside else it will show the loader here so that is the purpose of creating that function so now after that we have to call here customer provider dot fetch customer and here we have to pass str search and here we have to pass the value here and here we will put the semicolon so now reload the application to see is it working or not so here if i put some text here I put here Raman and then we are clicking here the search button. So now you can see here load is loading here. So we are getting the data on the basis of the search. If I remove this search and if I click again, it will give us all the data. Again, if I put here Amit, then I've, if I click here, so now you can see here we are getting the result here. 
So that's all in this video. I hope you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like, comment, share. I will come back soon with another awesome video. Thank you for watching the video.